Bueno amigos, hemos terminado la primera toma de contacto. Vamos a empezar con el episodio 1, que es en el litoral de, de Londres. En, así resumidamente, ¿vale? Hemos sido invitados por Mortimer, ¿vale? Nuestra madre ha desaparecido en, ese, en esa isla, en esa mansión, y tenemos que encontrarlo, descubrir qué le ha ocurrido, ¿vale? Bien, eh, recapitulando mis decisiones, ¿vale? Eh, casi pierdo la confrontación contra el contra Giuseppe, pero al final la he ganado y he obtenido la carta. Bien, en cuanto a la duquesa Emily, aún nos falta ahí información que aún no le hemos podido sac sacar. Sí que hemos visto que no se va de con preguntas, poco a poco iremos adquiriendo habilidades y quizás objetos consumibles con los que podamos ganarle alguna batalla o confrontación. Vale, hemos, con hemos conocido a más personajes como al presidente Washington, ¿vale? al, al amigo de Mortimer, ¿vale? y a la, a, la, a la chica esta que está enferma que se llama Elizabeth Adams. ¿vale? Entonces, tenemos a estos personajes ya conocidos. Ahora pues nos tocará hacer confrontaciones y averiguaciones. Empezaremos este capítulo con fuerza y decisión. Vamos a meditar mucho las acciones, ya que queremos eh, tener un final, eh, por así decirlo, positivo, bonito, en fin, agradable. Queremos vivir, no sé si aquí podremos morir o no, pero lo vamos a intentar. Vale. Eso está todo tú. ¿No es hora de oro? Impresivo. Ah, mi hijo, estaba buscando por ti. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Vice, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, who uh, will help? Confrontación, vamos allá. Confrontaciones. Durante una confrontación deberás avanzar por las distintas fases mientras tratas de ser lo más persuasivo posible. Las confrontaciones tendrán consecuencias en el resto de la historia, así que no dudes en usar tus habilidades. En las confrontaciones aparecerá una interfaz donde se indicará el nivel de persuasión de tu, de tu interlocutor. Vale, estas piezas restantes. Bueno, empezamos por segundo. Vale. No, esto no le pega a él. Vamos a ser corteses. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Vale, 
Do you think I should give it to you? No. Listen, you have nothing to fear. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Shit. I should have said that. Mierda, me equivocado. Let's not exaggerate your eminence. I have no other information at this time. It's probably nothing. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other father would read it? Confrontación, última fase. En última fase de una confrontación deberás convencer a tu interlocutor dando una respuesta positiva. Si te equivocas, la fase se repetirá hasta que des la respuesta correcta o no te queden más tras pies. La última fase es una de una confrontación se repite automáticamente, automáticamente si no la superas. Ah, vale. I swear by the Almighty God. Debo mentirle aunque sea, si no, no me va a dar. But my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur Petrucci. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French criminals. It's a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what Eso es. Luego lo decidiremos a ver qué hacemos con el sobre. Elementos ocultos. Encontrar numerosas pistas de objetos ocultos. Puede que algunos afecten en gran medida el deseo de tu aventura. ¿A qué esperas para encontrarlos? Abrojo, te proporcionan estado exaltado, se mostrará temporalmente la, las inmunidades y las vulnerabilidades que afectan a tus elecciones durante una conversación. No puedes llevar más de cinco. Vale, vale. Vidas paralelas. Son los que definieron la historia, ¿vale? Hay que cogerlos. Todos los objetos que pueda, los cojo. Vale, manuscritos. Los manuscritos te permiten instruirte durante tu aventura. Al comienzo de cada misión puedes seleccionar tus lecturas para conseguir puntos de habilidades permanentes. O sea, en cada aventura yo puedo elegir. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Right. Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of oh, the United States. President George Washington is here. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. 
It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even... Vamos a contar los secretos. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? <laughs> I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow. You must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, We'll be able to speak about my mother, but on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. Vamos a vamos a ir a cenar. Porque a lo mejor con Washington tenemos la oportunidad de hablar después. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. Pero ustedes lo hemos visto la visión con nuestra madre sin mano y todo eso. Entonces. Speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Home. I shall see you later. Bye. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, uh, the troubles in the would recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Vale, vamos allá. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? 
She has such a wide circle that mm -hmm. everyone knows your mother from a distance or close up. Everyone knows Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagement. However, we have never been personally introduced, Sam. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. Well, I Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Well, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Oh, uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? What a shame, sir. Do you know the reason for my mother's presence here? I haven't the slightest idea, no. She was invited by Lord Mortimer. But you don't know why? Well, not really. I was given to understand that your mother was looking for something. And do you know how long my mother and Lord Mortimer have known each other? Several years, I believe. They seem to know each other for quite a while. But it was the first time that Lord Mortimer had invited her to join us here. Good. And finally, would it be possible for me to speak with Lord Mortimer this evening? I'm terribly sorry, no. He really is quite unavailable. But please rest assured that everyone is doing their best to find your mother. All the same, it's not the Chateau de Versailles. It can't be that difficult to find her. Worry not, my son. I am persuaded that we shall find the famous Sarah de Riche. No <laughs> doubt with new adventures to share, huh? <laughs> Vamos a ver qué le pasa a esta señorita, no sé ni quién es. I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Thank you, Mr. Dinche. Miss, can can you hear me? Believe me. Her breathing is becoming stable and her heart rate too. Pale complexion, thin, broken nails, an enormous scar on her temple, tattoos on her hands. I don't know what happened to you, Missy, but it looks like you've been through hell. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. The sea air can do wonders. Sí, pero la brisa marina no te va a curar. Mira. Ni que hacer solo un punto de, de esfuerzo de estos. Ok. Mi madre ya había ido a missing. A ver, ¿qué es esto? Ella ha just regained consciousness and she immediately reaches for her brooch. I don't know exactly what it means to her, but obviously it's got to be something important. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? I segni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, uh, forget it. It doesn't matter. What? Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It's been a long day. Vale, que no, un punto de, de esfuerzo me queda. Me va a tocar tomarme brebajes o algo al final. Creo yo, porque si no, no voy a poder... It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Oh, 
it's naughty to tell lies. Bet my life that you were talking about something totally different from the declaration of the man. But to find out what, I should have stayed with them. Too bad. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? <laughs> just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your... Vale. Vamos allá. Vamos a aquí, aquí. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. He must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Bueno, entonces nos vamos todos a dormir la mona, ¿vale? Creo. Personaje re re revelado. Elizabeth Adams. Vale, ¿ver? Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am born tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Jacques Perru. Jacques Perru. Se acá no tienen que venir más. No tiene más gente, ¿no? Ahí a ver aquí. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Vale. Páginas de enciclopedia. Elixir de la de cura todas las alteraciones negativas. Golden elixir. No, pues ya tengo otro. Eh, algo también, a ver. The quorum guide. Normas de conducta decente. Parece otro libro, ¿no? De esos. Si puedo encontrar cosas de estas, eso me llevo. Ah, por aquí no puedo subir. Eh, perdón, chicos, es que la cámara no la manejo yo aún. Devil's Thorn. Abrojo. Es que tengo que mirar por todos, creo que así. ¿Qué cosa? Monsieur Johann van Wunder. Estoy mirando por todas las mesas y por todo, por si acaso. Monedas de colección. Uh, ya tengo más. President George Washington. Monedas de colección. Ole. Entonces tendré que arreglarme a todos los rincones y todo. Si no. ¿Qué es algo? Monseñor, his eminence Cardo Piaggi. Sí. 
Duke Manuel Godoy. Me salta una puerta, supongo que es la mía. Entiendo, pero por si acaso. Hemos llegado a nuestra habitación, señores. Vale. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Okay, let's see what it contains. Too bad for Piaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. But now it's opened. I better get it to Mother soon. Vale, lo guardamos como si no estuviese abierto y ya está. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Mira, a ver. Uh, me chocó. Vale, monedas de colección. Bien. Agua del Carmen. El agua del Carmen te proporciona el estado central. En la próxima vez que utilices no tendrá ningún coste. No puedes llevar más de 5. Vale. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Aquí. Puedo salir, a ver. Sí, hasta el final, a ver. Ah, porque entiendo que las es de otras personas. Lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Vale, es lo mismo. Nada. Bueno, vamos allá. ¿Y aquí qué? Vale. Ah, vale. Vete a la cama. Entonces nos vamos a dormir. Vale, pues buenas noches, chicos. Vamos allá. Vale. Lo que no sé si durmiendo. Porque va, va, eh, recuperaremos puntos de estos de descanso. Ah, mira aquí. En el litoral de Inglaterra. Ya nos hemos. Ah, vale, pues entonces ya nos hemos pasado el primer episodio, ¿vale? Vale, dice. Dice, superada. He ido a la mansión. He encontrado pistas sobre el imagen en el embarcadero. He convencido a Piachi de que me entregase la carta. He conocido al señor Washington. He decidido irme ahí, unirme así el joven en la salita. Me he fijado en el curioso talismán que lleva Adams y he observado el sirfón. ¿En qué hemos fallado? No he encontrado todas las pistas de mi madre en el embarcadero y no he recogido el libro del embarcadero. No lo he visto. Caminos alternativos podría haberme quedado en la sala principal hablando con el señor Washington. ¿Cuánto hemos subido? A ver. Bien. Pues hemos desbloqueado. Vale, pues no está mal. No está mal. Bien. Cuatro puntos. Le vamos a poner este que es la agilidad, ¿vale? Y este, ¿vale? Y vamos a ponerle la lógica un poco, ¿vale? 
más o menos, estos son mis puntos. Aquí equipar manuscritos. Aquí puedes seleccionar tus lecturas durante tu lectura. Los manuscritos te otorgan puntos de habilidad. Vale, esto dice que nos habilidad en ciencia lingüística. Punto de habilidad protocolo, persuasión y psicología. Vale, punto de persuasión. Para persuadir. Y este nos habilidad en psicología. Voy a utilizar persuasión ahora, ¿vale? 